So today on NCIX Tech Tips, we have a fairly simple topic. We're going to be talking about pixels. So let's start with what's a pixel, okay? So a 1080p monitor or TV has by definition 1920 pixels and 1080 pixels both horizontally and vertically respectively. So what that means is you have about 2 million little spots of light that make up the image you see through the monitor. So if you have a dead pixel, what that means is you can have a little black spot that shows up on a colored background. Now there are other kinds of dead pixels as well, but those are actually technically called stuck pixels. And a stuck pixel, it will show up as potentially a bright green or a bright blue or a bright, bright red spot on a colored background. Now, over the next couple minutes, we're going to be showing you how to find dead pixels and what you can actually do about them once you find out if your monitor or TV has dead pixels. So step one when you get a new monitor or a new TV is to find out if you have any dead pixels. So I've done a Google search here for dead pixel buddy and I'm using this great little application. You just scroll down, click the download link right there, run the application. It's a tiny little download and then you will end up with a window that looks a little bit something like this. So in order to most effectively scan for dead pixels you will need to look at all different colors. As soon as you click on any given color it'll turn your whole screen that color. Okay, so that allows you time to scan all along the monitor and see if there are any bright spots or dark spots that show up to you. They also have a little built-in application where you can time cycle through all of the different available colors and set how long you want it to be. So if you set it to something like for a 24 inch monitor, a comfortable time would be about 15 to 20 seconds per color. It allows you to go through and scan carefully a couple times without constantly changing the color. So you're scanning along on your monitor on the blue background, for example, and you find a dark spot. So what does that mean? First of all, bear in mind that you're not necessarily going to get a replacement unit from the manufacturer unless you have multiple dead or stuck pixels and if they're in the middle of the screen. Like you might be able to get a return if you have four bright red pixels in the middle of the screen versus you wouldn't be able to if you have four dark ones in all four corners because that's considered far less distracting and dead pixels are actually considered a normal part of a monitor or a TV. Now bear in mind it's not always a disaster if you do have a dead pixel because a lot of the time they will go away on their own whether they're dead or stuck. I've seen this happen multiple times even on some of the units that we've had returned as part of our dead pixel guarantee program which by the way if you want to guarantee no dead pixels if you buy from us then you can find a single dead pixel and return it for a brand new unit. That's neither here nor there. I've pulled those monitors back out and found no dead pixels on them even after we had already confirmed there used to be dead pixels. Now to speed up that process of it magically recovering and I can't explain why it happens, sometimes by pressing firmly on the screen right where the dead pixel is for about a second and then letting go and repeating that for about a minute can actually cause the dead pixel or stuck pixel to come back to life. So thank you for checking out our NCIX Tech Tips on dead pixels and what to do about them.